Hello and welcome to Bardscraft. Today I'll try my best to make everybody's favorite classic monster, the Mimic. Okay, I'm gonna start with these wooden craft sticks. These can be textured with a blade. My standard popsicle stick texturing method involves many cuts. You have seen me do this in a few other builds, just many cuts first and then sideways cuts to remove lots of material. Once I'm happy with the textures, I'm just gonna snap them into the right lengths. I don't know what is the right length. Hmm, let's, let's make a large mimic. Yeah, this is gonna be the boss mimic. The boss mimic will be full of treasure, but it will probably kill you before you get it. I imagine that six of these planks are enough. Two for the bottom, two for the sides and three for the top. Hmm. The plan is to hot glue these together. Let's see how that works. Starting from the bottom, I'm gonna use these little bits to glue these two planks together. All of this will be hidden, so it doesn't matter how it looks, at least on this side. The bottom side of the bottom is textured. This one will be on the inside. Now I'll glue on one of the sides. Let's use some junk bits to help. Some extra glue for durability. <laughs> I let this cool down before doing the next side. Okay, now I'm gonna cover these sides with some smaller bits. Ow, it's a bit hot. All of this hot glue will add some much needed weight. Alright, now I'm just gonna keep all the planks in place until the glue cools down. Hmm, it seems that this part of the stick can become quite useful for making the top. I'm just gonna make the textures real quick. Alright, damn it. Well, that shouldn't matter so much. It broke, but I'll fix it. We can glue it back together on this small bit. Yeah, now it looks more like planking, so that was a good mistake. I'm gonna do the other one in the same way as well, even though it didn't break. Before gluing on the top planks, I glued these rounded sides in like this. As you know, these will basically be the mouth, so I let these bend a bit out. Perhaps the chest looks a bit more intimidating in that way. Here is a small problem. My pre-made planks are now too short. I'll make a longer one and then I'll improvise. This one goes here to begin with. I think these shorter planks can still be used. I'll glue them in like this and However they fit, perhaps this will look more chaotic and dangerous. Don't be worried about the messy hot glue, it can always be removed easily, especially from wood surfaces. Like that. Ow, a drop of hot glue dripped right on my finger. Hmm, perhaps this can work as a tooth. If you think it gets too messy, you can cover glue with some little bits. Yeah, I think this is almost good. Let's check back in a moment. 
Okay, so what I did was I glued on more planks under here. They work kind of like teeth, as do these on top, small splinters. Now let's continue by making the feet. Yeah, just like in Dark Souls. Feet. I'll build the frame for the feet around a barbecue stick. But before any of that, we need a base. This is some floor protective mat I have found. Okay, that'll do. Not perfectly round, but good enough and of a good size. Okay, that should be a good length. Two of these. I'm just gonna snap the leg here to create a joint. Then a bit of hot glue to make it strong enough. Okay, now if we're lucky, there should be some spots where the legs can be poked in. I think that's one of them. Let's see. Yeah, kind of. Hmm, that looks quite intimidating, but these are a bit too long, so... Snap. And snap. Hmm, this glue takes ages to cool down. Okay, next I'll continue by adding volume to the legs. Here I'm just moving this around so the glue doesn't pour away. Yet again, you don't have to worry about the mess. All of this will be covered in some sort of texture, perhaps. Alright, now he stays in place. I'll just add some more shorter bits as support. These should blend into the ground when we add more stuff. The glue is now too hot for the next step, so I'll just wait a bit. Yeah, now we can apply this cooler glue on the leg, and then, after we have covered everything, like that, we can add textures with a stick. For a monstrous strange foot, this should work. We can draw one string down here. Yeah. You can also let gravity do the work. I did kind of the same thing when doing my custom mini thingies in this video. There. At this point you're probably thinking, what the hell is he doing? Well, I'm thinking that as well, but I think this will look good once painted. I'm also joining the legs with plenty of glue here, in the middle. Okay, I think that's good for now. Next, I'm gonna make a tongue. So we're starting off with a big blob of cool down hot glue. Then, I'll just let it drip down into a tongue shape. Nah, it's still a bit too hot. I'll do it again. Behold. Now would be a good time to cool down, but the glue is still too hot. Again. I think we have a success, but let's wait until it's fully cooled down. Let's see. Yeah, that could work. I'm just gonna draw this out a bit. The glue is still slightly hot. Okay, and why not put some more here? The additional glue can heat up the old glue, so we can shape it a bit better again. Now it's long enough. It is done. Now I'm just gonna rip off this piece here and remove it from the stick. There you go, one mimic tongue. 
while gluing in the tongue. I also want to fill up some on the inside of the mouth, so I'll just pour in lots of hot glue. That should do. I have to say, the tongue worked out pretty well. Now I'll just keep removing some of the hot glue mess and then we can start working on the base. To make a fitting base for this mimic, I'll be using these bricks. They are left over from the ruins I'm building right now. You will see these in the next video. Anyway, I covered the entire base with PV glue. I lost line of sight to the glue and this is way too much. For reasons yet unknown, I applied some of the glue a bit higher up on the legs. Okay, time to cover some of this ground with bricks. I want this mini to fit with a ruined theme, so I'll just place this a bit here and there. All the bricks are in place, that should do. Next, on goes some bark flocking. This is finely chopped bark that works quite well as flocking for ground, sand, whatever. Okay, let's check back after this has dried. A few hours later. Off camera, I also added a few planks on the base. I like the planks because they bring the model and the base together. What also brings everything together is a black base coat. It is time to paint. Here I have some black paint diluted in water and with a bit of PVA glue mixed into it. It was a bit too diluted at first, but I added more paint and glue. Painting the inside of the mouth was not as difficult as I expected. Plenty of paint on a small brush was the trick. I also gave the Mimic a few sprays of matte black for a nicer finish. I'm gently covering the ground with this slightly diluted brown paint. A good thing to keep in mind when painting over black. Everything will become much less bright when the paint dries. Let's mix in some red and yellow for the planks. With this bright orangey golden brown paint, I'm overbrushing all of the planks. Okay, that's done on all of the planks. Now we can play around with a more yellowish brown. With this, I'm just brushing over a few selected areas. After a while, it should look something like this. Now we can do a quick dry brush with Drake Tooth. Hey, that was one of the rare times I have the right amount of paint on the brush right from the beginning. Good. Here I'm just hitting all of the high points. That's a good worn plank. Remember, if you want to make a plank look even more aged, you can just dry brush more. Good morning, I'm now continuing by painting the bricks with grey. While that dries, I'll make a peasant level zenithal highlight on the tongue and then also on the legs. I'm not sure if this will do anything, but at least we'll see. Okay, so the point of this zenithal highlight is that when I add my main layer on top, the higher parts will be a bit more bright. Anyway, I'll finish the stones first. Here I'm doing a a light dry brush with a much lighter grey. I'm also hitting some parts of the ground with this paint. Let's paint the tongue. I'm gonna try my best with these paints. Okay, I have already started a bit here. I'm just applying a thin coat 
of purple to about here. Okay, then I'll try my best to make a subtle blend here. The battery of the camera is running out, so we have to do this quickly. Okay, looking good. Now I'm gonna paint with this paint on the tip of the tongue. Too much. I got it looking quite okay. Now I'm just gonna hit a few edges with this blue. I painted the legs kind of in the same way, but with much less paint on the brush. After I was done with the purple, I added some of the blue down here. Next some finishing touches on the base. I'm applying a few patches of grass flocking and then painting the edge of the base black. Alright, I don't have any good ideas for eyes now, so I'll call it done. Hmm, would be fun to place some googly eyes on this, that would be very epic. Anyway, building this with 100% improvisation and zero planning was fun and a great challenge. You can try it as well. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the build and I'll see you in the next one.